Hello and welcome to this part of Level Helper tutorial series. In this part we're going to talk about how to create a character out of body parts and prepare it for animations. First, create a sprite atlas file out of the character body parts. Now drag all the body parts inside the canvas and put them close to where each part should be. Use the search field to find the parts you need. Now that we have all the parts in the canvas, let's combine the parts in a more logical hierarchy. Drag the lower arm over the upper arm and the hand over the lower arm to create the right hand hierarchy. Because the hand is child of the lower arm and the lower arm is child of the upper arm, when you transform the parent, all the children in the hierarchy will also be affected. So if you rotate, move or scale the upper arm, the lower arm and the hand will do the same. To affect the rotation point, move the anchor to the desired position. Repeat the process for the left arm and legs. Drag the head over the body to make it a child and move the anchor so that it rotates around the neck. Now drag all parts inside the body object so that they can become children. Notice that when we rotate the right arm, the hand is covered by the legs. We need to change the local Z order to put the arm on top of everything. You should know that children are always on top of the parents and the Z order is local to the parent. Test to make sure the legs are in the correct Z order also. Notice that the left arm is on top of the torso, but we need it in the back. So drag the left hand object outside the body to put it in the same hierarchy level. Now change the left hand Z order to a value smaller than the one of the body. Let's create an empty node and set its size almost the same as the character. Now drag all parts inside this node and rename it to Girl Soldier. Now when you move the node, all body parts will move with it. If your game is physics enabled, select the girl node, go to the physics inspector and set the body type to dynamic and the shape type to oval. The oval shape will be created based on the node size. So if it's too big or too small, just resize the node object. If you simulate, you will see that your character will fall to the side. You probably don't want that. Click on the fixed rotation to keep your character from rotating. In the next part we will bring this character to life by animating it. I hope you have enjoyed this part of the tutorial series. Have fun!